Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will write the markup of our single page website. So I'm using this code editor called Visual Studio Code. It is free to download. You can just Google for it and uh, download it. So I have created a folder called single page website and I just opened it with Visual Studio Code. So I have this images folder over here where we have all the images. So we have the icons and um, we have all the other images we need. I'll provide all these resources for you in the description below. So let's get started by creating our uh, files. So we'll create a new file and uh, we'll name it index.html. And in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate code. I have opened up the design over here and here we can see at the top we have the nav bar and uh, then we have this hero section. So in our body, we will just start by creating a header tag and uh, in that we'll create a nav tag and in that we'll have the navigation. So here on the left we have the logo and on the right we have the menu items. So for the logo we'll create a division with the class of logo and we'll just create an img tag and we'll type images slash logo dot png and then for the menu items we'll create an unordered list so we'll type ul and in that we'll have a list item and in that we will have anchor tags and uh, for now we'll just type hash over here. And let's see what we have in our menu items. So we have about me, my work, testimonials and contact. So let's write that over here about me and we'll just duplicate it three more times. Next we have my work and uh, then we have testimonials and lastly we have contact. All right, that's it with the now. Now let's create a division for the hero section. So we'll create a division with the class of hero container. And in that we'll have two divisions, one called left and we'll have another division with the class of right. And on the left, we have this text content. So first of all, we have I am a and then we have two headings over here and then we have a button and then we have social media icons over here. So first of all, we'll create a paragraph and we'll give it a class of I am and in that we'll type I am a and then we need to have two headings. So we'll type H2 over here and we'll type developer comma and we'll just duplicate this and here we will type designer. Let me just open this in our browser so that uh, we know that everything is working well. So if I right click over here, I have this option called open with live server. That's because I have added an extension in VS Code. So if I go to extensions over here, we have this extension called live server. So just go ahead and install that and you can just right click over here and click on open with live server. And uh, here is our design as of now. So we know that it's working all right. So let's get back to our markup. Now after the headings, uh, we need to have a button and the button is called contact. We'll just create an anchor tag for that and we'll style it in such a way that it looks like a button. So we'll give it a class called btn and in that we'll type contact. And then we need to have the social media icons over here. So we'll create a division with a class of social icons and in that we'll create img tags and we'll type images slash first we have Twitter and then we have Ribble and then Instagram. So we'll type Twitter logo.png and I'll just duplicate this two more times and the next one we have is dribble dash logo and uh, then we have Instagram all right that's it with the social icons now let's move to the right division so on the right we just have an image so we'll type img and uh, the image in our folder is called hero image all right that's it with the header now let's move on to our first section which is the about me section. So here we have the about me section. So we have a heading and uh, three paragraphs over here. So let's create a section and uh, in that we'll have an h2 and we'll type about me 
and then we'll have three paragraphs over here so in VS Code you have this option to write lorem and type the number of words you want so I'll just type 50 and press tab and you get this paragraph over here so I'll just create two more paragraphs Alright, that's it with the about section now let's move on to the next section which is my work so let's create a section and we'll create an h2 and we'll type my work now for all these images uh, we'll create a division with a class of work container and in that we'll place all these images so we'll create a division with a class of work container and in that we'll have six images so the first one is project1.png and I'll just duplicate this five more times and we'll just rename this to project2, 3, 4, 5 and we need one more and we'll rename this to 6 alright so we have added our images now let's add a button for view all projects so we'll create an anchor tag and we'll give it a class of button and uh, since we have white text over here we'll also create a class called light so whenever we have light class in our website we'll make the color of the text of the button white right here we will type view all projects so that's it with the my work section now let's move on to the next section which is testimonials so we'll create a new section over here and in that we need to have an image for the quotes icon over here and then we need to have some text and then on the right we have this photo and the name and the company name so first of all we'll have the image we'll type images quote icon and uh, then we'll have a paragraph so we'll have 15 words and uh, then we'll create a division for this whole section over here so we'll create a division with the class of says and we'll create an img tag and uh, here we'll type images testimonials one dot png and uh, then we have the name of our commenter so we'll create an s3 for that and we'll just write this name over here and then we also have the company name so we'll have a paragraph and uh, we'll give it a class of company name and uh, we'll just type Louis Vuitton over here so that's it with the testimonial section now let's see what else we've got so next we have the contact me section so we'll create a new section and uh, we'll just give an h2 and we'll type contact me now we'll have separate divisions for the email the phone number and the address so we'll create a division with the class of email and in that we'll have an image and we'll type mail icon.png and uh, then we'll create a division with the class of contact text and we'll just type this email over here so that's it with the email now let's create a division for the phone number and we'll have an img tag images phone icon.png and we'll have a division with the class of contact text and uh, we'll type the phone number over here All right that's it with the phone number and then we have the address so we'll create a division with a class of address and we'll type img images address logo dot png and in contact text we will type the address so that's it with the address now lastly we have this footer so we'll create a footer element and uh, in that we will type this website was developed by live blogger and we'll have the copyright symbol and we'll type 2020 all right that's it with the markup of a single page website now let's open this with live server and we can see our logo the menu items the headings uh, the button the social media icons the hero image and all the sections are displayed over here 
All right, our markup is complete. Now in the next section, I will show you how to add styles using CSS. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.